Okay, so if it lands on heads, we're going to do the easier version of the yeah! exercise. If it lands on tails, we're going to do the hard oh! version of the exercise. First round is 30 seconds, second round is 35, third round is 40 seconds. Ready? Ready. Okay, first spin, go. Yay! Yeah! Okay, first exercise is jumping jacks. Three. Two, one, go! Legs nice and wide, hands nice and high. As many as you can. Round one, 30 seconds. Keep going. And rest. Spin number two. Split number two. Yay! Yeah. Okay, chest taps in the plank position, Alyssa. Oh, thank you. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Chest taps is the second exercise. Hips down nice and low, nice neutral spine. Taking one hand off, touching the chest. Nice and controlled, slow movement. You are halfway there. Lock in those hips. Try not to move anything else apart from your hands. A few more seconds. And rest. Well done. Thank you. Flip number three. Jump squats is the next exercise. Get ready, hip width apart with your feet. Three, two, one, go. We would chew one. Yeah, couldn't be that lucky. Nice soft knees, jump up nice and high. Land into a low squat position. Keep going, five seconds left. And rest. Flip number four. Yay, high knees. Three, two, one, go. Nice and high, nice and quick. Chances of us not getting burpees at all. Not very high. Few more seconds left. And rest. Flip number five. Plank jacks. Okay, get down into the plank position again. You go for it. Legs are more nice and wide this time. Three, two, one, go. So in that plank position, snapping those legs in and back out again. Good for the shoulders, the legs, the core. This will also get your heart rate up as well. You have 15 seconds to go. Then we're gonna go through all of those five exercises again. Hopefully we'll get some Easy ones this time. Three, two, one. Flip number six. Jumping jacks. Ready? Three, two, one, go. This time we're going for 35 seconds, with only 25 seconds rest.
five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Flip number seven. Into our press ups. Down on the floor. As many press ups as you can. 35 seconds. Get ready. And go. jumping jacks as you can. Three, two, one, go. jumping jack get ready three two one go so we're going to drop down into a low squat position and we're going to explode out into a jumping jack landing back into a low squat and then extending all the way out these are a challenging exercise if you need to at any point just revert to normal jumping jacks but for the last 10 seconds power jack Three, two, one, rest. Spin number 12. Chest taps, back into that plank position. Taking one hand off, touching the chest. Two, one, go.
two, one, rest. Spin number 13, and lucky for some. Lucky for us, squats. Feet hip width apart, slightly pointing the toes out to the side. Dropping our hips down, two, one, go. Nice and low. We can take our elbows all the way down to our knees. Nice and low with each squat. Sticking the bottom out, keeping that back nice and straight. Nice and low. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Spin number 14. Burpees, again for the second time. We have two more exercises, burpees and one other. Get ready, 35 seconds, three, two, one, go. Climbers, 40 seconds. This is the last exercise, the last round. Going in five seconds. Two, one, go. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Fuck out, done. Norman Vincent Peale said, problems are to the mind what exercise is to the muscles. They toughen and make strong. Problem solving is one of the cornerstones of what we do here at MindFit. We are passionate about supporting others to take control of their own lives and being able to problem solve is a huge part of this. When life gets overwhelming, the ability to solve our own problems is made far more tricky and it becomes hard to see things clearly but we're here to help and give you some top tips on how to see through the fog and get problem solving. Fact or fiction? This may sound strange, but start by questioning, is there really a problem here? It's very easy, particularly when we're stressed, to create problems in our heads. Our heads are very sneaky and can cause us to worry about things that haven't even happened yet. So ask yourself, is this fact or fiction? Ask yourself, is this a genuine problem that needs a solution or have I created an issue that isn't currently there? For example, if you have a test coming up that you need to study for, that problem could be solved with a couple of simple strategies. However, worrying that you'll fail all your GCSEs at the end of the year or in a couple of years is an irrational thought and not a fact or a problem that needs a solution. Break it down. Once you've determined that you have a tangible issue that needs addressing, the next step is to break it down into smaller pieces. Solving a problem can feel overwhelming and even impossible. So to take control back, break the problem down. Writing it down can be hugely helpful here. Just getting your thoughts out of your head onto the paper can be massively useful in itself. Identify the different parts your problem consists of and then ask yourself what needs to be done at each stage. Let's use the test example again. Let's say you have a test coming up in one of your subjects at school and you don't feel quite ready. 
you could break it down into chunks like I don't know what I have to revise I don't know how I have to revise there's much to do and I'm simply running out of time you could approach this by saying step one speak to your teacher about what you need to revise and what to expect from the test step two again speak to your teacher ask a friend google revision strategies step three work backwards from the date of the test and plan time each week and day to revise and specifically what to revise ask for help often asking for help is the bravest thing we can do There is no honour in suffering in silence or keeping problems to ourselves. Talking to people you trust not only unburdens you from your stress, but often other people can see clear solutions to problems that you cannot, particularly if you feel very anxious. After all, as they say, a problem shared is a problem halved. Following these tips and making your own mini action plans where problems arise will instantly help you feel more calm and more in control. The more you do this, the easier it will become over time. You may even find yourself viewing your problems differently. Rather than being panic inducing and negative, you start to recognise problems as challenges that can be overcome. And the truth is, everything you need to solve your problems is already inside you. Please join us next week for our last video. We'll take you through another workout before focusing on setting goals. See you then.